Uh, all right, all right. That was uh, Jolie Basel by uh, Dennis, I don't know who, and Cajun and Creole <laughs> Sessions. We, uh, we're getting in the mood for our uh, third annual uh, Carry Onward benefit for the progressive radio show that you are listening to right now, live from the heartland. Yeah. Come on down, it, or up for most people. It's uh, all the way up to the Rogers Park corner of Glenwood and Lunt at the Heartland Cafe's bar. We will be having 20 musicians. Let's hear from Lynn Orman Weiss, who's standing in this room right I'm now. Standing. Come on, I let's can. hear it, guys. All right, hey, Lynn, thanks. Lynn, Lynn lined up again an incredible It's, not, it's music. more than 20 musicians, it's 20 acts. All right, many so. Many musicians. Very good, very good. So let's, let's not. He uh, wanted to fill the room. <laughs> we have a wonderful it's third guest afternoon here. It's tomorrow at 3 o'clock. <laughs> Thank you. 3 o'clock tomorrow. Don't Sunday. forget. <laughs> All right, we are falling apart here, Chip. Good morning. Good Welcome. morning. How are you? We got Chip Ratliff, who Soul is. Soul Funk. Soul Funk. Uh, to be, uh, you're going to play live in a moment, but mm -hmm. how is it that you wound up here? How did Lynn rope you into this? Describe she, it. She's got some um, stuff on me that I don't want to make public right now. <laughs> Wait for somebody you, to say that. And the fact that you brought it up really hurts you know, <laughs> and making it hard for me. No, uh, uh, no Thank you. Lynn is sweet. <laughs> Lynn is wonderful. Lynn has been supporting me and my uncle, Fernando Jones, who's a uh, blues musician, for years. And we've been trying to put this together for a while. Um, literally put this together for a while to be here on the live, live from the Heartland show. Um, but schedules have just been conflicting, you know, and things like that. Me being out of town and, you know, guests and all that stuff. But so here we you finally are. Got, it, got it done. And um, I thank Lynn for um, putting it together. And I thank you guys for having me. I truly appreciate it. Right. Let's hear so. some of that music from that beautiful bass guitar. Well, sure. But you guys got to clap. Do like clap for me like this. Come on. Resilient, which I guess you'll be hearing a little bit from, but um, 
And the cool thing about that is that it, it's been like 10 years since I made a CD. And um, that was one of the songs that I wrote. Believe, a quick story behind that, I actually wrote that in Hawaii. You lucky guy. Yeah, I know. How about it? Um, <laughs> Who was she? <laughs> Lynn, you're just trying to pull out all the secrets. <laughs> Lynn? <laughs> You know, I don't know about this Heartland show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, by the way, our, our guest here, Chip Ratliff, is so cool. He's got his iPad just sits in here against the um, mic stand, and uh, <laughs> and he's live on Facebook. So yeah. right now on your page, yeah, on my page. If you that's Chip Ratliff. Uh, Chip Ratliff yeah. R A T L I F F. Right, exactly. And you can see Chip and nobody else because we're not in the picture. There's yeah. my hand. There's <laughs> <laughs> I you love know. that. Chip. I, I was going to say, so, but the rest, of that, the rest of that story, Hawaii. Right. But I wrote it for the Rolling Stones, believe it or not. I wrote it with the Rolling Stones in mind. I don't know why I heard, I, I've been to the shows. <laughs> the I don't know why I heard that. <laughs> I heard that when I wrote it, but it didn't turn, obviously it didn't get to the Stones, you know, my yes. connection with, yes, yes. I guess. But um, I wrote it for them, and then I've been playing it ever since. So. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. That so. is so sweet. Yeah, it is cool. Right, so, were you born and raised in Chicago? Born and raised in Chicago, yeah. Where'd you go to high school? Can I, I went to De La Salle High School. Wow. My dad oh, went to De La Salle. Really? Oh, my, my dad God. went to De La Salle after he went to Quigley, which this guy went to. Quigley, so, oh, yeah, Quigley, Quigley North. South? Quigley well, North. He went, okay, back Quigley? then it was okay. only Quigley because uh, there was only the one a, a block away from here right now. Oh, but okay, okay. It was okay. for priest making. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, but uh, anyway, do the sound. And uh, who are some of your favorite uh, bass players? Oh, um, let's let's go back to Larry Graham. Uh, Larry Graham played with slide. Uh, other than just playing with with his own band, Graham Central Station. He's the guy who played uh, Sly and the Family Stone. Oh, I heard that. Right. Yeah, Larry, Larry Graham is the guy who invented thumping and plucking. The that, oh, that yes. the guy, and he's the guy who plays. I heard that too. Thank you for letting me be myself. I love that. He's that guy. That's Larry Graham. Wow. How about hey. Stanley Clark? Oh, I love Stanley Clark. Stanley Clark. I'm not going to try to tip Stanley Clark right here. <laughs> I love Marcus the way he said Miller. I'm not going to tip that many Marcus yes. Miller. Um, love Marcus Miller. He's my favorite guy right now. He is just, to me, he's the bass player's bass player. I mean, he can solo. But when you hear him, you're hearing a bass player, and that tone, I love him. Victor Wooten, love Where him. Where do we know Marcus from? Marcus Miller um, played with um, Miles Davis. He was ah. one of Miles Davis' last bass players. Dang. Was Bobby Irvin on that one, too? Um, yeah. I think so. I think so. Wow. But Miles, Miles also um, played um, Luther Vandross. He produced Luther Vandross' first album. Um, he is... Um, I mean, he's produced tons of uh, 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 movies, you know, done the scores for movies, things like that. Just look him up, MarcusMiller.com. Okay. And, and you were on to another guy when I um, asked. Victor Wooten. Victor, Wo mm -hmm. Victor Wooten might only be known if you're really a bass player, but he's got a technique where he plays with, it. I mean, it's just hard to, I mean, these guys are just incredible. These guys, guys are incredible. Um, so as far as like, you know, it's like famous people, um, those are my guys. Those Chip, guys. did you uh, start on the bass? I started on the drums. On the drums. I started on the drums. Funny story about that. I started on the drums and I was playing the drums. I was a Kiss fan when I was young, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of zoning in on his age Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you see, so when I was about young. about 20 years younger than me. Yeah, so I was a young a, rooster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was a Kiss fan. I had all kinds of stuff on my wall and all that stuff. And it was funny, I wanted to play the drums, but I really wanted to be Gene Simmons with the turn with the and makeup, all that makeup and all and stuff that. On. But um, Wild man. it got to the point where I was playing the drums, I kept asking my dad, drum, drum, drums. But we lived in an apartment, so right. my dad was kind of like, you're not getting any drums, we live in this <laughs> And so I wound up, my dad was the one, um, God rest his soul, God my, um, was the one who had told me I should play bass. Because I was, my uncle Fernando Jones had already been playing guitar, and uh -huh. I, he had one of his guitars that oh, some of the strings were missing on it, and I was just kind of 
messing around with the top, the E string. Uh -huh. And my father said, in his infinite wisdom, maybe you should play bass. And I said, okay. So he went out with me and we got a, my first bass for a hundred bucks at, um, um, I'm not gonna, well, at Guitar Center. At Guitar Center, um, <laughs> way it's back okay. in the way, way, way back in the day. And I've been playing bass ever since. Um, and I, I learned how to play bass. My uncle's another uncle, Greg Jones, Fernando's older brother, another Fernando's older brother. He was like, to me, he was like Prince. To us, he was like because he could play everything. Uh -huh. And um, he had a big um, Wurlitzer organ uh -huh. where you could hit the drum pedals and play everything. And he was kind of semi-retired at the time. And so he, he would have me and Fernando on Sunday afternoon sit down and jam with him for hours. And the first song I learned how to play I, I didn't know any strings, I didn't know anything, I didn't know what notes were. He, the way he taught me, he said, play this, play this, play this, play this, play this. Now you're gonna play them all together. He taught me the song we're gonna play. Then he go, one, two, three, and I was. He said, it's a Rick James song. <laughs> yeah, it's a Rick James song called Give It To oh, Me. I'm my cousin. Baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Rick James. Yeah, um, I'm called Give It To Me, Baby. And that was the first time I learned how to play, and I remember my fingers being callous, my fingers, blood calluses and everything, yeah. and I was in pain, but you know what? I kept playing. That's when I knew I loved no, doing what I was doing. Because you did it through the pain. Because I did it through the pain. It didn't mm -hmm. stop me. I played basketball before, and I got hit and got hurt. I'm like, I ain't doing that no more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, football, I'm like, I ain't doing that. <laughs> You know, but when your I'm fingers bled and you said, just give me the band aids, give me the keep going. whatever, let's just keep going. A little callous <laughs> up, let's just keep going. And that's Chip right. Ratliff, it's a pleasure to have you here in the studio. I, I have a feeling we could talk for a long time with you. We probably could. We yeah. probably could. Well, we're going to talk a few more minutes, but we yeah. got to hear some more music. Wait, I want to ask one question. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, okay. What? 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 My grandfather used to play with BB King. Um, Show off. <laughs> <laughs> my grandfather used to play. Thank you, thank, 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 you, thank you. Uh, oh, Lynn. But um, my grandfather played with BB King back in the day. Another funny story is that um, he had a choice between he had thirteen kids, including my father, and my grandmother was like, "You got a choice. You can stay here with me with these. You, you, first of all, there ain't no choice. You ain't gonna leave me with these thirteen kids. Talking about you going on the road with BB King." Sit your mm, down, and you're gonna be here with these kids. And so he stopped playing with the kids. My grandfather, grandmother told him stop. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, thirteen kids. The better, the better part of valor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, he didn't, he has no regrets. He had a, he had no regrets. The music scene here in Chicago. Just briefly, one question for a guy like you: What is it that we're missing that we used to have for blues players or just local Chicago players? Or what is it that we? we would like to add to the scene right one, now. One of the things is the, the, the desire and the want to hear original music um, here in Chicago area. Um, you can go to different um, cities and they actually um, nurture the original artists. A lot of the scenes here, and that's just how it is, unless you're doing blues, even when you're doing blues, mm -hmm. you, you've got to do somebody else's tunes if you want to make a living in Chicago doing music. Yeah. You know, if you really want to make money and make a living, you've got, and this is always a big subject on online um, with us musicians, mm -hmm. you have to do someone else's music. You know, you make more money. Do you know, I'm going to tell you a story. I I'm made, glad I asked that question because I, know, I would not question. have known that. I made more money in the last couple of months being, and this is a true story, doing a wedding gig for a friend of mine. <laughs> he calls me and says, hey, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, uh, nothing, what's up? I need a body. Basically, he needed me to stand in the back holding an acoustic guitar, not playing anything. What? Just standing there and acting like I was playing. <laughs> the original lip sync kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And I got paid more money, twice as much as I got paid maybe the night before as a band leader playing music because I was just sitting there, I was doing that because they need bodies. And believe it or not, the guy who hired us afterwards and we were playing, because there's a lot of things called tracking that goes, and I'm, I'm giving you behind the scenes, but that's what I do. Um, there's a lot of things with tracks, you'll go to some places and you'll see four people on stage, but it sounds like 20 people playing. 
that's because they've got tracks behind them. Right, yeah. right. If they stopped playing, music would still continue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that's what the situation was. And we were playing, you know, front tracks. Some of us were playing, the drums were playing live, but if we stopped, music would still be playing. So, but they needed, because the most important thing was the guy hired 10 people on stage. So, so he was short one person. So he brought me in to be that one extra person. He just said, dress nice, you know, and play. And act like you're playing. And I'm give some playing. energy. And have and bounce around. That's what I was doing all night. And I said, okay. And I got paid in the night. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I think, <laughs> yeah. we're, I think we got uh, something lined up here for to play uh, on tape. Am I right? And, and I think it's called Somewhere Else. And I got that one right, too. Somewhere Else Not Thinking About You. Somewhere Else Not Thinking About You. Yeah. Wow. That's poetic. <laughs> here it comes. Hope you like it. Here's how it sounds. Are we, we're not going out? This, no. We're going to play live again? Yeah. Yeah, well, like we have, two, yeah. we have two things. Yeah. I have queued up Dance, Dance, Dance uh -huh. from the CD. Uh -huh. From the CD. Or, or you could do something live. Live? Dance. No, let, let him go. I was going to say, you could play, play Dance, Dance, Dance for me. Fine. Because we're going to be doing a, a video with Dance, 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 and I kind of want that to be out there a little bit more. Okay, cool. I could play live, but since you got Dance, 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 I'm This sorry. is from your appearance on WGN. Oh, you, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll go and WGN. it needs to be picked up. Oh, shoot, I forgot to put the time on here. There's there's an intro before the music comes out. Don't do it. There's still live now. No, 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 no. The second, the sec if you play the second song, the second song is Dance, Dance, Fine. Dance. So okay. Do you have the that first, yeah, that the first song. Somebody first tell no one. Yes. The first Track song two. is spoken word. The second Can song is Dance, Dance, Dance. Can live, though, when we get out of here? Yeah, I can play something. Of course. Lynn, I don't have that much time. There's four minutes now. <coughs> All right, so we're going to come back. To some version of Dance, Dance, Dance. No. Um. Uh, I thought we were playing that as, as the go out. I yes. Think, I think you should put it right. We're down, we're down <laughs> to what three and a half mind. minutes. We're four you minutes, so. Um, three and a half. <laughs> How am I doing? Lynn, what are we doing? Well, I'm sorry for that rude interruption of a great song, Somewhere Else Not Thinking About You. <laughs> Dang, what a love story that must be, Chip Ratcliffe. <laughs> what a great bass player and a uh, great Chicagoan sitting here. Um, we're going to go out to Dance, 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 but um, where do you want people to know to uh, look for you, find you, yeah. and keep track of you? Go to www.chipratliff.net. Remember the N-E-T, the dot net at the end. Um, that's where you'll see my video, you'll see my um, my listings on my tunes, and you can keep up. Sign up on the mailing list. I'm going to start in March. I'm going to start the monthly mailing list. I won't spam you, and I don't sell my list to anybody. So, um, Good luck with that, man. Uh, trust me, I will. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, and um, we're going to um, have, um, you know, it'll be just basically you'll be updated as needed, but usually just once a month. And um, you're going to hear Dance, Dance, Dance a little later, and that's actually on, on there, the video of us on WGN. Okay, um, they're so not, yeah. it's not later, it's now, baby. Okay. we got two minutes, and we're going to go out to Dance, Dance, Dance by our guest here, Chip Ratliff. Thank you so much for coming up today. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you for it's, having me. It's, it's our really pleasure. It. We want to thank our guests from today, Michael Glover-Smith, Kyle Henry, Chip Ratliff, we want to invite everybody and their brother and their sister and their cousins to show up tomorrow at Live from the Heartland's third annual Carry Onward Benefit at Heartland Bar, 7006 North Glenwood. We'd also ask everyone, we want to thank everybody who makes this show possible, but we want to ask everybody to do good in the world. The world needs, needs all the good, good you do. do. All, all power, power to, to the, the people. people. Come on, too. Little kid.
what? Next for slay is on there already? There's a delay. Oh yeah. So yeah. Yeah, but this is pretty sad and live Facebook. Okay. Group photo out there.